And now, from Grid Square Echo Mike 48, this is 100 Watts and a Wire. Well, hello and welcome to 100 Watts and a Wire. My name is Christian. My call sign is Kilo Zero Sierra Tango Hotel. Joined by my friends today after a week off. You never know. Was it a contract negotiation? Was it? What, what was it? Nope. Not this time. Although, uh, you know, Steve has shaken me down in the past for double down, you know, double this, and then this, and then this, and then I look at it, and I'm like, okay, so it still doesn't cost me anything. Perfect. Got it. So everybody here does the the work of a volunteer type of basis. Good morning to you. It's a morning when we uh, record this, and it's live streamed out now to uh, our YouTube uh, friends, so we do have a YouTube channel, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, but uh, live stream, everybody's welcome you know, to the recording of the podcast. That way we can get your input. And I put a poll. I put a poll on our chat room today. Yeah, I put a poll in the chat room. And then, sorry, Sherry. Sorry, Sherry. I know that came. I said it too many times. Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, Sidecar said it. Sidecar said it. And it's just like, ah, you know, we never know what he means. It does. We took 100 watts in a wire public. Now it's a public company, millions of dollars and an HR uh, room now that Steve is adjacent to at headquarters. filings and all that other nonsense. You know, it's like, uh, it's a big deal. So now we have to kind of be proper. And and there is a hotline for like broadcast days when you got a hotline and you never wanted that hotline to go off because you knew it was the boss. Well, in here, I'm wired up that if something comes out a little strangely, innuendo, out the uh, out the window, whatever it is, that I'll get a little light, and it sets off a little morse. So uh, that's what that is, and we try to stay away from it, because now that we're a publicly uh, exchange company, is that it, what it is? And millions and millions of dollars are on the line. That uh, I'm like, do you know who you're dealing with here? Sidecar is probably like going to put us in the ditch. But oh, look, yeah. many people know, and I'll, I'll put it up for our audience who are here with us. Here's Sidecar, Steve. Notice the right hand of the grip there. I mean, he's pulled us out of the ditch single-handedly. And his sidecar looks much like uh, a nose, you know? See it there? You can see it on the screen. There's me, number eight after Cal Ripken. This was back in about 1956 when we were in a race, a tri-state race from Maryland, D.C. and Virginia. Sidecar there. Young man, you look a little different nowadays, but we won the race. And that's where Sidecar began. You know, we could get back into the motorbikes, but I think we're both aging out of that uh, deal. And, And why mess with the legend? You know? Yeah, I kind of like the four wheels these days. Yeah, four wheels are good. Uh, bigger, louder engines, all that sort of stuff. Uh, too much oh, air, yeah. too many bugs. Ate a lot of bugs. And then uh, we went under some science experiments to find out that we've swallowed too many bugs. Uh, <laughs> and it's like, oh, now it's strictly gummies. So that's uh, that's all we do now. And and it helps with the pain. Uh, speaking of which, do I do I have my boy up here? Do I have my... No, I can get him up here. Let's see. Let's see what happened. I changed uh, I changed something in my... There he is. Speaking hey. of gummies in the gummy mobile, our friend Scotty <laughs> is here. Good morning to you this morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. How's everyone on this fine Saturday morning? Oh, Excellent. Doing, doing okay. Uh, that's a nice transition into a couple of topics I want to talk about here on the show today. Welcome to everybody who's in the chat. Again, subscribe where you get podcasts, watch video extras and live streams on YouTube. Um, but if you're here, you can participate. There's a poll and it's talking about the licensing fees that are going to drop on the 19th of April. A lot of engagement on that on our Facebook page. A lot of people were... Uh, I don't know. We'll get into the, some of the numbers. And the numbers weren't enough. I thought we could maybe just do a poll where we talked about, you know, has it inspired you to get your upgrade or renewal, that kind of thing? Does it matter to you? Are you unsure? People voted, but they needed to speak as well. So mm-hmm. we, may, uh, we may bring some folks in here today, too, uh, just, to, uh, just to hear what you have to say. We'll, we'll talk about that. There's a couple things. Oh, Steve's audio could come up a touch. Can you? Uh, did you adjust that already? I got a note from uh, Master Control. Bring a, uh, bring a. Uh, 
<laughs> Bring your audio up a touch. I think a sidecar is like, uh, F, F you to the new guy. I will, uh, my audio is <laughs> going to stay right where it is. I, I my audio is that. fabulous. I don't know what you're talking about. Fabulous. My, fabulous audio. My audio is staying put, <laughs> producer Scotty. So, okay, overruled. All right, but thank you for that note. Okay, so participate in the chat, if you will. Just an unscientific poll there. I, I did... I did see that a lot of hams who participated in the Facebook poll are already extra class licenses, mm -hmm. but my point was they wanted to talk about it too. So maybe we need to bring in and have a different type of format today and just bring some people in who are in the chat. So maybe I could do that here in just a second, but I want to catch some people up. You want to do that? You want to do that? I'd probably just pull your audio, guys. If you wanted to come in here, I could do that and I'll just bring your audio and we'll listen to what you have to say. And cool. uh, all right, what the hell? What do you think, Sidecar? You you want to hear from the people I love, today? I like that idea. Let's right. let's do it. All right, let's go ahead. It'll you're here in the chat. Super this is, fabulous. This is the you're showing a new side, <laughs> a new side today. I, I think we are the diversity and equity and everything. Uh, and he froze up. He just about froze up in that position too. That you deserve that one. <laughs> Everybody's welcome here, Steve. If you want to announce something today. I, I no, support you one hundred. Okay, he's good. All right. Super. <laughs> okay. <laughs> everybody's welcome. When we say everybody's welcome, and um, if Steve yeah, makes a change, everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome. We have, we are the uh, the uh, ham radio show that has a conscience, and it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It wouldn't matter. To, I think anybody. So what was that? Now, Scotty, what what is it? The gummies. Nothing. I'm good. Oh, I'm good. Did I get one pass HR? Sorry. I'm just trying to Talk. focus on the, the my yeah, job just, watching just, the chat. Just tonight. try to just try to focus. focus, on your phone, focus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, another one. Are you gonna you're gonna really get us in trouble? Uh, yeah. So every community is now welcome. Just as, as Steve uh, touches a broad stroke across all our diversity, everybody is welcome here. And I'll give you his phone number so you can complain later. HR is, is listening. All right. What I did is I dropped the. Um, the key under the mat, if you want to come in and talk about any particular topic or if you have a question, we can do that and do some ham radio talks and talk about life. We'll look at this poll as we go uh, through this morning. I can click over and take a look at that. There's not as many people, of course, here in the live sense as there was um, in Facebook, but I gave it a little more time uh, on Facebook, so that's probably going to be it. But while you're here, go ahead and vote. It's your vote and try it out. The key is under the mat if you want to come in and talk about it. A couple things I need to catch up on. Uh, I finally was able, I, I traveled and went to New Mexico, which is a lovely state in the Southwest, and we had a blast. My girls had never seen the Southwest, so we went there, and the red rocks you can see, and, and all the greatness that's, that's there. Uh, so we had a really good time. Could not get in I am thanks to the folks who have been uh, showing concern about my health. I think I've hit this um, uh, part of my life, you know, I think you hit 50 and next thing you know, it's like, oh God. And, and, and you start hearing this like, so now I'm keeping people in the game. I want to keep people, you know, up to date on what's going on with me physically, right? Because I've had some stomach uh, abdominal issues. And so I'm putting it out in our weekly reader, which is basically our, um, the people who have one hundred watt IDs, the mailing list, and that sort of stuff, and I'm just letting people know. Look, I'm I'm doing okay. Keep me on your prayer list if you want to. Send me the positive energy. And the only thing that was sketchy was my doctor was like, it's not, you know, it's not in a traditional hernia spot because uh, it's up and people, it's like in this area up here, right? Usually hernias are a little bit lower in your abs near your pelvis. And just saying that. And he's a good doctor. He just saying that can set something off in somebody's mind that, ah, oh, what if it's something different? Couldn't get in, couldn't get tested until two days ago. Two days ago, I get an ultrasound, comes back, and it says, you know, you've got a, you got a tear in, your, in the wall there. So it is a hernia. It looks like a hernia. I'll be meeting with a surgeon. I know this sounds like 75 meter phone conversation, but we're brothers here. I was going to say, you know, doesn't this belong on 75 it, meters? It, it probably does. If I only had someone to talk to, <laughs> I, uh, now I've got a captive audience. They have to listen. But uh, yeah, so uh, I meet a surgeon 
early next month. And until then, you might see me shuffle. My weight might have to lean back a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm managing and I'm actually happy. My family's happy that it is a hernia and it's not something more. Just saying it's not in a traditional spot made me just think, oh God, now I'm now I'm dying. Did he give you any weight restrictions on don't pick up or, or certain movements to avoid to, to not uh, cause any more issues? He hasn't, you know, and I know that 10 pound rule and that sort of stuff. And I'm a physical guy and I live out here kind of on the homestead, split wood if I want to have to. And I lift wood and carry wood in. It's uh, 38 degrees at game time. So now just knowing that I've kind of put myself on a restriction, you know, it's kind of like, just be cool. Um, my youngest who's getting tall and so, you know, I'll usually pick her up and carry her around. I'll do that until they, they stop telling me, but I'm not, you know, I'm just waiting it out. Most people are like, you know, it's a not simple operation, but it's a common procedure nowadays kind of get fixed up and it's with some recovery time. So anyway, it's good to know that I've got an answer and we can move forward. But those two to three weeks have been like, Jesus, man, what's going on? And I can weird spot. I don't know. And then I don't know if it's the age, man, but I, I mentioned, you know, you hit 50 and, and you start hearing about stuff. And last night, Taylor Hawkins, I know the three of us are Foo Fighters fans. This guy turns 50 on his birthday. And there, I know there's speculation about things. They found him in a hotel room. They were supposed to play. He has had a past with um, uh, demons. We'll just say that. But you can't really say this right now because it's too soon. He could have slipped and hit his head. We don't know what happened in that uh, hotel room. But, man, that kid was talented. I call him a kid. He's 50 years old. So talented. Loved his music. Go ahead, Steve. You you go ahead. If you got a comment about any of that, go ahead. Yeah, no, it was. I was just in shock last night when I uh, when I saw the news and uh, immediately uh, just kind of went, "Oh, geez, <laughs> I wonder if Christian knows." And uh, you beat me to the punch, and uh, it was just uh, unbelievable. And uh, yeah, big Foo Fighter uh, uh, fan. Love their music, and um, over the years and just to see have this tragedy it's just yeah i was yes i I got the news through christian last night actually on discord i saw it i was like you gotta be kidding me and uh, i'm a huge foo fighters fan huge dave Grohl fan because you know he's from the dmv um and uh yeah i was just listening rocking out to some foos all day yesterday and then i saw the news um through the la times article that christian posted on uh on the discord and i was like no way I just turned 50, too. I'm like, what? This is crazy. Yeah, it it is nutty. Man, he's super talented, and I, I still have uh, friends in the broadcasting business who just think the world of Dave Grohl, that he's such the nicest guy. I, apart from, say, Courtney Love, who, who has said things about him in the past, it's hard to find anybody say anything negative about Dave Grohl. And I think uh, Taylor the same. You know, all the, the comments, just people are in disbelief. But anyway, uh, so I don't know his family, or but I know that we probably have some fans here in our audience. So we're all kind of thinking about you. It's a little numb, a little numbing. You know, Fifty might sound like a lot to somebody else. I don't know, but it's still pretty young in my uh, in my world. In our book, it's young. He's a rock and roll guy, man. I mean, and I know it's a lifestyle, and I think people want it to jump on Wikipedia. They posted something about an overdose, but that's. Com- complete speculation because they wouldn't be able to tell you that and when bob saget died that brother fell and hit his head on something laid on his bed and never woke up you know what i mean he was young you're talking 60 what was he 62 or 64 or something like that so we don't know what happened in that hotel um but i can imagine what it'll mean for dave Grohl, who's lost a second uh great friend of his and what it means to that band that's come secondary um but, you know, waking up to that news, if you woke up to that news this morning, that's a little um, it's a little jarring. So uh, it, it ties in a, a little bit to my situation of the not knowing with the health, being of that age group, and you're like, you don't have the answers, the insurance is waiting for you to get tested, won't give you the proper time. I needed a CT, at least my doctor thought I, I should get a CT. Uh, but they went with ultrasound, and they could find that, and it took 
a lot of time. And now that I know, I can kind of get myself together. But anyway, there you have it. There you have the uh, the opening of uh, the intersection of life and amateur radio. Who wants to take it? Anybody want to pick it up, give some thoughts on any of that? Or I'm going to click over to the poll and just to see how we're doing. Looks go like over to fifth... the poll and see what's going on there. Okay, I'm going to go over to the poll and see what's going on over there. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Sherry. It's, uh, we're, we're talking about poll. actually a poll that is uh, not a da- I, I'm starting to think that Sherry's the one that's not a little. the dancing poll, Sherry. <laughs> I think Sherry's the one <laughs> with the problem. It's I, Maybe I've hired the wrong HR people. I I don't know. It looks like sensitive. 56% of the people who are watching us this morning already have their extra. 17% says yes, they've been moved or inspired to upgrade to get their license. 11% not sure. I think a lot of people don't understand what this actually FCC fee is going to mean to them. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, we can talk about what we know. Uh, and 17% say no. So, we, you know, we don't have a zillion people to poll here, but you're welcome. Uh, hello to Jeff. Thank you for saying hello. I believe our friend Jeff is in Japan. So if Japan is in the house, good morning uh, to you. Japan's rocking the I think house. Japan, and he's another Maryland guy. He's just living over there. He's not just living over there. He's now a citizen over there, uh, but he Thanks. is from Maryland, and he's an Oriole fan, so bless his heart. All right. All right, let me go over to the Facebook, and we can talk about that a little bit. I'll bring this up and I'll drop in here. If you wanna you wanna come in to the studio today, you can call the hotline, baby. Call five 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 five. And we'll bring you in. Let me make sure nobody's gonna call. There we go. Or I don't miss any calls. All right, Steve. So I put the word out this week and, and you can kind of see uh it wasn't just a day ago. Um uh, and we've gone over 14,000 members on YouTube, uh, on the uh, Facebook. So thank you so much for caring at all. That's a lot of folks there. And I know a lot of people don't always participate there. But I put something up there, and it usually sparks some kind of interest. One of the uh, selections was, and the question was, the new FCC fee rates will take effect on uh, April 19th of this year. And have these fees inspired you to upgrade or renew your license? Sometimes you need to renew. I don't know if you want to do it early. I don't know if you can do it early. I think, I think it's think... no earlier than 90 days. So okay. You can't, All right. you can't do it super early. All right, but maybe you could do it anyway. So uh, let's see. And I said that I would share. The options were, you know, yes, it has inspired. No, it has not. Not sure. And uh, already an extra. So uh, interesting to see how many extra class license holders we already have. It looks like 528 plus a few there, uh, how they lay out the poll. So over 530 are already extras. 279 people uh, put no, 30 said yes, and uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm just trying to keep how they do it there. It looks like about 15 are not sure. What I wasn't, I was a little surprised out of the 3,100 people that the post actually reached. We had 149 comments and they continue to come in and they're all over the place, Steve. I mean, we can kind of break this down and, and we don't have to get too crazy about it. And everybody's you know, welcome to give their opinion on this. But Joel says he's already an extra, uh, but going to get his GMRS. Jamie says no, but as much as I get out of and enjoy this hobby, if the license fee was 100 I would still pay it. So $100. So that's an interesting point, Steve, and you talked about it briefly before we started the show. The cost here. Is the cost really a thing that we need to get upset about? I mean, are we just getting upset? And I say we collectively, the folks who in this thread on Facebook, they do get upset, a little pissy about it. What do you think? Oh, yeah. No, there's people that are just uh, just losing their mind over it. Uh, I know when they, it first came out and was proposed, they the people were just going crazy. And it's like, okay. they're t- And at, in the beginning, they weren't sure what the uh, fee was going to be. So it was... Uh, uh, it was just I I got the mindset of or, or from the people that were complaining about it that it was basically they didn't want to pay another fee to the government 
and uh, and what it came down to, it's just like you know a few weeks ago we talked about the fees with the Forest Service that are um, uh, imposed on uh, remote sites. It's the same thing. Congress created uh, a law or a mandate and said you the agencies you have to kind of recoup the the fees of you know from your users and this is just uh you know kind of a an offshoot of that we've had fees back in the day and um and i need to find it one gentleman uh, did a great write-up on it and uh and kind of compared to what it would cost today but uh in reality it's you know when the 35 dollars came out then it it was you know more people kind of got on board with it. And then it was like, well, you know, it's only one cup of coffee. Uh, well, you're here on the West coast, uh, you know, how we are with our coffee. And, uh, so we, we have the, the popular Starbucks. What do you mean? That, what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean by coffee? Everybody likes to go to yeah, <laughs> coffee too. You know, just, uh, wait, 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 hold and, that thought. Let me take a drink of my coffee. <laughs> you better and take it's a drink basically too. one cup of coffee uh, a year. Uh, it's so it's thirty five dollars ten year license um, and back you know years ago our licenses only ran five years and so you had to and if it was thirty five dollars for every five years oh well, that gets a little bit more but you know what we got to pay to play and uh, unfortunately that's what it is we had a free ride for quite a while so and now we just got to pay and it just helped paying for the administrative costs so that's the way I look at it and. It's uh, even like, and I agree. If it was a hundred dollars for to renew, I'd still be doing it. It's I agree. It's a small price to pay to enjoy this hobby. There's so many other very expensive things about this hobby. You can make it what you mm -hmm. want, is what I've learned. Because in the beginning, I thought, man, this is an expensive hobby. I gotta get this. I gotta get this. I gotta get this. But then you learn you can make this. You can buy this cheaper. You can get this used. You can do this. So it, it can be what you want it to be, technically. Mm -hmm. I'm not tripping on the on the fee, but like I said, everybody here is welcome to have an opinion on it. And um, the conversation is, uh, will this inhibit new hams? I don't know that that thirty five dollars is almost like buying a friggin' t shirt. No. You know, the the only thing I think will probably make it a little tough is that you got the thirty five dollar fee from the FCC, and then you have your VE fees or VE. Uh, uh, so the, the testing session, the $15 from them. So it's going to add in the beginning. And if you have been with us on the Sunday night nets or, or catch me on the air, I've have been saying for months now, get your upgrade, get it done, get it done, get it done, get it done because it's coming. And um, so now we have a date. We have April 19th. So now's your chance. If you want to kind of avoid the fees, and then get to that class of license you want to, you know, be at, then here you go. And then, you know, every, and then in, when your license comes up for renewal, lo and behold, we have to pay the pot. You know, and you mentioned the fees about the tower in the uh, forest service and the people with the government, you know, not to get into a tricky situation, but look, I'm at the point today, I woke up this morning and like, I'm just going to talk about whatever I want to talk about anymore. But, you know, that fee that is, you know, like you said, Congress, and it was put into place. That was put into place under the last president administration. So if you're going to, you know, look at look at the lineage to see what's moving. It is the government doing what the government does. And a lot of it's sleight of hand and in the dark and late at night. And you wake up and you're like, what the? So, you know, you have to think about, you know, when these things went into play, who's putting them in play, what we want to play, how do we get in the game to play? And we talked about it a, a few weeks ago. And now I don't know when this fee, FCC fee, I think it was, wasn't it proposed in 2020? I thought I read something. I and mean, it's finally kind of it kicking was, in. I think it came up last year okay. and, uh, when it hit the proposal. And then it um, they go for comments. And a lot of people commented on it like everything else that the federal government does. You got a government regulated uh, thing here, you know, and I was reading about Russia and uh, what Russia is trying to do. And we all had like a bit of a chuckle. It's not funny to chuckle in wartime, but the Russian radio stuff. I mean, they're just getting uh -huh. stolen and, uh, you know, their, their communications are getting jacked up. You could, could you imagine in World War II, 
not having what we had from the code talkers to all the great radio, you know, really helped win the war back then. Radio was just such, such a cool, uh, in that period of time. Can you imagine, like, the loosey-goosey of wartime radio in Russia where you just picked up transmissions? It, that was nutty. You posted that story. Um, oh, yeah, I came across that, and it was a ham radio twist. So, I mean, I'm, it wasn't saying that the, the ham radio operator was doing the jamming to the to the Russians, but there was, <laughs> I was just laughing the the comments that people were telling the, uh, the Russian military, because they were just on open frequencies, uh, not secured, and uh, people were just jumping in there and uh, say, you know, go on home, you know. It's better to be a deserter than fertilizer. And it was just like, holy smokes, these people are brutal. And uh, the AP reporter was uh, hooked up with a, a radio amateur and they were listening to some of the uh, the antics going. So, yeah, I saw that article. I posted it on our Discord group just uh, because there was a, a kind of a ham radio twist uh, in it. So, But it was pretty comical, almost sounded like 75 meters. Uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks for the note, uh, Scotty. You, you know, I'd pick up that note there and be like, "Oh, oh wow. that, what? That what? Would, what? 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 That would, oh, no, send you through the roof." <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, some other people coming in and talking about it. We'll get Scotty's opinion on this too. But you know, people were extra class licenses. They've, you know, they're basically saying, "I got mine. I'm cool with whatever." Um, changing call signs is another one that would uh, have this fee associated, right, Steve? If you were to change and, and get a vanity call. I think so. I, I think uh, the administrative part. So if you like change your address, you have, so you moved and you did an administrative change. I think those are going to be, um, there, there won't be a fee involved in it because it's, you're basically doing all the work in the system. Um, but, uh, I think the administrative, so, but I would imagine renewals, new licenses, probably new call signs is going to, is going to be the based on a fee, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm just yeah. It gets I think time it's, to you know if I have to do you know when I renew, and then it's just okay. Here's the thirty five dollars or whatever the fee is going to be, you know, down the road because I think I got another five or six years before I have to renew again. It may have been you and probably both of us in tandem and, and whoever, but I think the position of the show has been like you know do what you need to do as you need to do it. You know, if you need to study and take more time, like I, I wouldn't freak out and cram just for the $35. I got to get in under the $35. Like I'd rather loan you with the $35 uh, to, to take your time and absorb what the, some of the content, you know, and, and instead of going there, you know, when I took my test, Steve, you know, um, I took, I took $30 just in case this was for the extra, just in case I didn't make it right. I, I, I was, Pretty sure I was going to pass the extra, but I took 30 bucks just in case because I would have turned around and, and did it again. I was not leaving, in other words, without that extra ticket. So I don't know. And, and people have talked a little bit about, you know, maybe radio clubs can put together um, a program within the radio club to help people um, pay for their license or their test and i don't know what you what people really think I, about I've that i've seen people talk about that you know especially for um young people um that uh, that don't have a job or anything right. like that uh, there was a uh, some people proposing that hey why don't we have it you know if you're under 18 the fee is is waived um i'm kind of like you know what let's let's do it amongst ourselves um because it's just going to complicate things if we try to have the federal government involved. But if you're a club, um, think about having a kind of a scholarship <clears throat> fund or something mm -hmm. in your club kitty that uh, can go around and help um, members that are, you know, so, like someone that's on a fixed income and they, they can't really afford that $35. But they, you know, want to participate in the hobby. And it's like, Hey, if we all kick in a few bucks uh, every meeting or something, grow that little kitty, and uh, it would be you know help out club members to re retain their license. That would be awesome. So, I think it's it's up to us as a community and our and our, us as clubs that uh, you know we take care of our own. 
and uh, help it along. But uh, for me, the $35 is not an issue um, right now. Maybe down the road uh, it, it will be, but uh, but right now it's it's not. And I think we should just, you know, help each other out and, and help out the ones that, you know, can't afford it. If we got, you know, a young kid that uh, is coming from a family that doesn't have a lot of money and he wants to get into the hobby and and someone gave him a little bowfang right him or her a, a bowfang radio you know what's what's stopping them from getting their license you know if they don't have the 35 dollars, well here let me give you the 35 dollars, right. or let's let the club do it i think it's that's the best way to do it yeah and then you maybe can do it anonymously that way you're not making mm-hmm. that person feel a certain uh you know, shortcoming because it could be a, a child or you might have a, a brother just down on his luck. You know, we kind of have to tap exactly. into each other's, you know, and people are private, you know, people, are, you know, and so it's, I don't know. Yeah. I'm all for helping, um, having some sort of scholarship in place to help people if they need it. It gets kind of tricky you in knowing where the money's going and who needs what and how exactly you determine who needs what. But I would say to echo what Steve is saying here, like if you got some brothers like I do, if I was down on my luck or Steve was down on his luck or Scotty was down on his luck and things were lean to know that you could come to people and say, you know, Hey man, would it be, you know, and I know that's hard for a lot of people, especially grown men. Um, but you know, you know, I think that's kind of the way is to, to help each other that way. And maybe a system and a scholarship gets too tricky and into the nuts and bolts and who's getting what, you know, I can see it becoming a, I like your way of just, you know, go to somebody, you know, maybe somebody you trust if you need to, or tap into the community some way. We're just trying to solve the the problems. That's why I think the clubs would be the best bet because, you know, club members will know, you know, we all kind of know each other and, and we know when someone's kind of hurting or down in their luck and, and they'll make a comment. Yeah. My license is, you know, uh, coming up for renewal. I can't afford to, you know, pay the fee. And it's like, Hey, the club has the funds to help you along. And, uh, and then there you go. Let me ask our listeners this to chime in as well here. I'd love your feedback. You can email me as you're listening to this going down the road or on your trip for spring break or whatever it is you're doing. You're welcome to drop me a line, and many of you do, which I appreciate that a lot. But for our people here in the chat, I wonder, talking about fees, we're talking about fees and getting – would you, as a member of a club, would you encourage paying an extra dollar a year that went to helping that? Now, some clubs are very small – and maybe just, you know, one club could come up with one, you know, $35 thing. I don't know. Would it? Would you be inclined, I'll ask the people, my brothers here that are with me, would you be inclined to joining your club at the fee, whether it's 25 or $30 a year, whatever it is, adding a dollar for this type of scholarship? What do you think? What do you think, Steve? Oh, yeah. Easy. Yeah. And I, I would also encourage having like a tip jar at the club meetings. And that would be, and you just drop uh, you know a five five ten or twenty whatever you got in your you know uh, pocket change into the tip jar and it just uh it goes there and kind of helps and that tip jar would just strictly be to help club members and uh our prospective club members of uh you know paying their their fees and uh it, it could be done If you're in the chat right now, put a yes for yes, I would add an extra dollar to my club's fee. And we're not affiliated with any club here. This is our own community. But put a a Y or a yes or a no if you wouldn't want to pay uh, to have some sort of organized scholarship through your club for people who are elderly. Good point uh, point there, Mark, Mm -hmm. in our chat for saying can't forget about our elderly folks, Uh, the young and those who are kind of down on their luck. Yes or no, either way. All right. Very good. It's time for me to tell you a little bit about LDG, and I need to turn it on when we do, so come on. Oh, girl. Did I tell you about LDG, girl? No, it's not any sort of like lube and all that. Come on, let me get into it. All right, LDG (laughs) Electronics. If I can't get into the nuts and bolts of it, then I can't be... uh, LDG, LDG electronics.com. Oh, okay. Best oh tuners in the world. <laughs> and uh, 
<laughs> they will tune it up for you. I know I'll be in there Monday morning. It's sorry, Sherry. <laughs> LDG Electronics been with us a long time, and uh, they do it right. They make all sorts of different products too. They best tuners in the world, family owned and operated. So uh, there you go. I, I thought I was going on to something sexy, but it turned into not. Uh, so sorry, LDG. Yeah, like I, I, I meant if LDG could uh, come up with a sexy time, sexy time, Sex. a sexy, a sexy time, sexy time. <laughs> I, I think I could really sell that. Oh, sexy there goes the, the there goes that sponsorship. <laughs> and also. Sexy. If you're looking for a power solution, check out BioNO Power, offering the best lithium phosphate batteries for your ham radios. Visit BioNOPower.com. B I O E N N O Power.com. All right, there you go. That's the kind of thing, uh, what are you going to do? You know, just trying to, just trying to do it, do it, but that's it. All right, so there you have it. Uh, some interesting notes I want to share. I don't know if anybody's given the yes or no to the extra ducat in the uh, fee. I don't know, Scott, if you're seeing any of that. Yeah. Most people are just like, oh, we're talking about money. I don't know about that. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Nope. Don't Everybody worry. seems to uh, be okay with coughing up a little extra for their club fee to cover something like that. So Jeff says, Christian gets fined by the FCC for lewd content. Well, if that's how it's going to go, that's how Breaking it's gonna, news. That's how it's going to go. Would you put an extra 15 cents into the Christian Breaks the FCC uh, buttons there? Oh, sorry, Sherry. Uh, let's see what happened in this week in radio. Back on uh, the last week of March on the 27th, thanks to uh, Scotty for pulling this together, Marconi transmitted across the English Channel. On the 20th, back in 1902, Nathan Stubblefield demonstrated ship to shore broadcast to multiple receivers in Washington, D.C. And on the 23rd, back in 1922, WEWAM in St. Louis, Missouri, begins radio transmissions. So there you go. As those guys were working in 1899 through 1922, uh, working on making radio a thing, I'm changing the game and announcing a new lubricant for your whatever... Sorry, guys. I, I'll probably get it. I'm going to get an email about that. Uh, by the way, Greg, hey, this is LDG Electronics. What the fuck is going on today? <laughs> anyway, there you go. I'll just blame it on the hernia. I'm not on any medicine, but all right. All right. Thank you to our sponsors for... Hey, he needs a little... He needs a bag. I think uh, the gummies might The gummies might gummies. help. Gummies will help. They'll help. They'll gummies help. always help. All right. So we've discovered now that... Uh, that the gummies help. We know that uh, most of the people in our audience would be willing to pay an extra ducat. Uh, they're mostly leaning toward okay with the fees from the FCC. It kind of falls in the what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's going to, what are you going to do? Yeah. I mean, but some people, you know, they just want to complain just for the sake of complaining and uh, get it off their chest. And, uh, and, and that's okay. I mean, in the end, it's, uh, we're only talking three dollars and fifty cents a cup of coffee a year, so. But, it it does impact people, so, I, I have a you know I feel for them for the ones that are going to be impacted our elderly our youth but, I think as a community the amateur radio community we can, we can overcome these little small challenges because we've always overcome them before so. I think just, it's honest to stay you know. Uh, Man, like, you know, just talk to your people. Like, I feel I've, I'm fortunate because the community, 100 Watts and Wire, was created out of the need to get more help and not to lean on too many people. I was doing that in the early days, and I thought, these three guys are going to just hate me. Let me put all my energy in leaning on one man, Sidecar Steve. And then Steve's back is breaking. Like, I don't know. But he's possibly the nicest guy in ham radio, so I know he can't tell me to go jump off, a, off the bridge. Or hasn't yet. Um, but anyway, this community was created as as a place where people could come and ask questions. The show early f followed my trip and my journey. Like, I was struggling. I didn't know. And now I know a little bit more, so it's kind of evolved a little bit. And I always try to stay up, up front with everybody and, and you know, 
today's show, the podcast, listeners are going to hear about the Foo Fighters. They're going to hear about a friggin' hernia. They're going to hear about uh, lube. You know, we're going to have, that'll be our next question next week. So, what is this lube? Uh, what does it do? And uh, so be ready to. Petroleum based lube? <laughs> yeah. Is it a vegetable oil based the lube? Ch- 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 <laughs> like this? What's it's the a... viscosity of such lube? <laughs> it's a dielectric. <laughs> Oh yeah, it does it have a dielectric properties? Yeah, it's just, it's just all, just all for the reason why. But um, I'll see you in a bit, Sherry. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, Jeff says in Japan uh, redefines the phrase. This is a Christian channel for sure. I I did Uh-oh. get. I I guess I can get into it here. We got friends here, so we'll have to decide because we're streaming live on YouTube, and I've got this thing, and 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 never talk about it. Lots of people will write. What do you think about the YouTube? What do you think about this on YouTube or this channel on YouTube? And I'm always kind of like, I don't know. Yeah, where's where's Pastor Joe where you need him? Thank you. Uncle Paul, where's Pastor Joe? He's as nasty as ever anybody else, Paul. And I, I think you know it, and so are you. Um, and you know those shorts are too small. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, uh, you know you're wearing clothes and uh, showing off your stuff like it's 1978. You asked for it. You asked for it. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, this is not good. This is this is not going to go to the Broadcasting <laughs> Institute in uh, Washington, D.C. at all. Everyone's like, why do they think that's so yeah. funny? Yeah, what's what's wrong? It's because Paul's. Uh, we'll tell you, Paul uh, started a side business called Paul's Nuts, and uh, and it's just an ongoing theme with Uncle Paul in New Jersey. He has a uh, a thriving business, uh, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? What? What now? Now? Oh, a double. Sorry, Sherry. Oh my god. Oh, this is the worst. The Broadcasting Institute is not going to be calling today. Well, look, um, so anyway, the YouTube stuff, they always call or they write. What do you, what's going on with you and the YouTube? Where do you stand on it? We've been doing it for 18 months on YouTube. And I'm like, you know, I don't know. I feel like the channel, the, the podcast, we can talk about these things, right? But the channel is based around this algorithm that wants to kind of niche you down so much and I'm like, a let's let's uh, let's let it hang. Let's let it hang out. Let's talk about hernias. Let's talk about music. Let's talk about that. And what YouTube tells you is, don't do that. And I'm like, okay. So if I if I go and break off a piece and I live stream and we just talk about the Foo Fighters, it conflicts with our audience, is what YouTube tells us, and it could hurt your channel. And I'm like, well, I've been doing everything I can do. I feel to make the channel valuable to people, I think, and what I'm doing with, with the money that we have to do with it with. And, you know, we appreciate everybody that goes there, but they still don't seem to be setting us up, you know, and we're not getting propagated by other channels. So it's kind of, we're just waiting and hoping that somebody gives us enough thumbs up that the algorithm will be like, hey, you might want to enjoy listening to this because it's not like any of the other fellas are over there going, check out what they're doing. They're talking about hernias. They're talking about nuts and lube. It's fine. It's great. <clears throat> so, but on the podcast, people will take it with them. They'll listen. They understand the players. They know Sidecar. They know Scotty and his gummy situation and how he got into it and how this whole thing came down. So when I get to YouTube, I think I'm kind of feeling homog- homogenized a bit in what I can do. And I'm, I'm a ham like you guys. And we're interested in a lot of stuff. You know, I'm interested in music and I'm interested in art and I'm interested in science. You're like, but I can't bring that to this channel. So what, what are my options? Well, YouTube will tell you, start a second channel. All right. So I'm going to start another channel that is small, costs some money to produce the content have to spend time and energy. And I don't know where I'm going with this, but I I just know that I need to be able to have that range of scope and content options. Like, look at the guys that are just here today. Everybody in the chat, everybody that's here on the show, so different. We like so many different things. But 
we can't talk about these really or we confuse the audience or we confuse the algorithm. And I'm kind of tired of trying to think about how the algorithm will treat us. And I just want to be, you know, I, I want to be doing and talking about the things I enjoy. So I don't know. I, you know, again, see, we got a thing about Betty White. Ben is typed in Betty White. Like, yeah, we talked about Betty White. Yeah, early on. And it just took off. And the algorithm just picked up on it. And it was uh, <laughs> Betty White. And it was awesome. And Can I be the ham that likes other things? You know what I mean? In In the YouTube world, it's that I don't think it will want me to be the ham that likes other things that can talk about other things. And like, I'm like, all right, if I'm going to make a move, I need to make a move now before we even get into this weird pocket where, you know, one under Watson wire is established. A podcast comes out, thousands of people listen to it and they'll listen to it on their rides. Facebook is like, just do 10 minute clips, man. Just do 10 minutes, 12 minutes. I don't know. 20 minutes is kind of pushing it. Uh, so it's got me in this like space. Like you kind of like, pinning me down and it's not in my nature so i know that answers uh, the person's question part of the person's question who write who wrote to me about how are you enjoying it you know and, and in the end it's like i enjoy this i like the live streaming of it i like the engagement of it but man i really they they say diversity and variety channels are just and uh, people don't don't want that they want certain things so they want they want you to be boxed into one content and that's it. You don't, you don't venture out of that. And, uh, because everybody is, you know, you know, basically, uh, you know, catering to the algorithm and it's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, YouTube loves compartment, carpent, uh, compartmentalizing things. Compartmentalizes everybody. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone's got the, yeah, you know, here's your topic. You stay in your lane and then they can use their algorithm to funnel, um, content and viewers uh, back and forth to each other and it, it helps YouTube, but it also restricts the content creators yeah. if they're trying to, uh, you know, I, I'm just like some creators and some creators like to be restricted. They want to stay in their lane, but then there's others that want to venture out and be more than what the lane they're in. And it's like, yeah, let's shift. You know, I want to shift gears and uh, try a different lane, but See, the podcast yeah. lets us do that. The podcast mm -hmm. listening audience has been there since 2015, and it comes in just like Scotty found us and, and others found us through audio. And that's that's what I'll listen back to. And oftentimes I'll write to Sidecar and be like, man, the audio sounds good. Our levels are good. Or I'll say, that time you sneezed and lowered your audio, we never got you back up high enough. And so he knows that audio for me is, it's my uh, my core. Um, but... It's like uh, Mark says here, it's, it's how is it that we have 14,000 uh, members on Facebook and 2,000 and change here? And every one of the people who come, um, you know, they're welcome. We appreciate you. And for 18 months, I'm putting out things I think you might dig or it's parts of the show. But I'm not sure, like, you know, I just want to be... I. I would love to just do a radio show where we could talk about lots of topics because pick anybody out here listening or in the chat and they can give you five easy things that they're interested in. Gardening season's coming up. I'm, I'm going to go buy potatoes today with my little one who she plants them with me. We're going to get some onion sets. I can't talk about that when we put it on YouTube. If I put that clip on YouTube along on a ham radio thing, it becomes... Uh, it's that's gardening and the people who are subscribing to him don't watch it. So we're not going to push it. Well, we're cultivating our ground field, or, you know, our, our ground All right. fields. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's the same time we're dropping a few potatoes and onions here and radishes and, and a carrot or two over there. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. So. <laughs> it, it, Double dirt rockets. <laughs> It's a tough spot because yes. I want to give 100 Watts and Wire is a thing and it's been a thing. And I didn't join YouTube to be a YouTuber. Um, it's a podcast with some extras over there. So anyway, this is me doing a like a heart to heart with our people who are listening to this after and the ones that are here. 
Um, and Ricardo, he says, I've been here, you know, since 2015 and been here is a podcast. He's been here through Facebook and for all its faults at Facebook, it really feeds the content of the show. I mean, it's a really active, you know, you put it out there and I, I showed you, man, a lot of oh, people are in great, there and they're grinded up and, you know, people are finding us on discord, to, you know, to get, uh, you know, we got questions and it's like, Hey, what's what Facebook group think? And bam. Brad, Brad says, look, let's talk about mushrooms. Bring it on, brother. I did the gardening yesterday, says Ricardo in Florida, where he lives in paradise. So, you know, it's kind of like that. Um, The audio podcast of this will accept talk about Taylor Hawkins dying because it's part of life. Uh, We get homogenized a a bit over there because uh, YouTube wants to keep you on the platform. And it's just like, okay, let's just promote whatever it keeps people on here the longest so i get conflicted and so at this point the answer the question that came to me just this morning was i don't know i don't know i enjoy live streaming i like seeing people i like having a set like all that's kind of cool but the energy and the time and the payoff of youtube makes me feel more like i'm in a box and i can't say you know youtube has to be like LDG is with my sponsorship. LDG is like, be yourself, be whatever you want to do. And here I kick off something talking about LDG's lovemaking sauce or whatever. And I don't worry <laughs> about going out and going, oh God, what did I do? Oh, they're going to make, I, they might have already sent that email. Like, yeah, I think we're going to move on. Um, I don't know. I'll draw the line you're at gonna, lube. Going to uh, hear from their HR. All these words <laughs> to say, I just don't know. I'm just not convinced yet that YouTube is gives us all the things that you know i need in my life i need to it's either i start a new channel and ask all of you my friends who've been with me yeah don't start a new channel see you're not in, you're not in favor of that what do you guys I think mean, you're well, here? yes basically or no? you're you're going you're catering to them and youtube all they care about is youtube i mean they're a business and they just want to grow their business and they want to just have everybody in their little lanes and it just makes it easier for for them, and and they go, oh look, you got subscribers, you know, you're going to lose subscribers, and which means you're going to lose money or this or that. And they 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 want to entice you there, and it's I and and a lot of creators are probably they like to be in their little lane because that's all they know. But then there's other creators that just want to go out and be themselves and and venture out and let's talk mushrooms, let's talk about gardening. Let's talk about cars. Let's talk about whatever else. And yeah, we're a ham radio group, but that's the common thread that brings us all together. But we're not just in this one little lane of ham radio. This this program's about the intersection of life and amateur radio. So I let's nerd out about just, guitar amps. Man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like as soon as it, yeah, I, I think that's the thing is that the payoff for YouTube and the goal was never to make money. There's no money to be made. Like a couple hundred dollars last year wouldn't even pay for the service that we're all coming to you on right now or recording to you on. It wouldn't pay for, you know, so money wasn't necessarily the motivation, but there is a mind F in the fact that YouTube gets you to thinking like, well, you could reach more people if you just niche down and i'm like i need to be the niche i need to be the niche i need to bring my friends in here the conversations that you hear need to be the niche it's um and at this point if everybody left me and we had to start over i'd rather that happen and we broadened our scope and we had people that just dug it and i started one under watts and a wire and I told, uh, oh man, I'm forgetting her name, Katie. Katie, back in the time, it's been a long time. I hope she's doing all right. I told Katie, if I can get 500 people to get care at all, like to come in and be around, I'll just keep going. I'll I'll do it. That was my marker. And so we have that on the audio side. It's how do I treat the YouTube side? And I and the experts over there tell you, do this, do this, don't do that. And I'm tired of listening to that because it, it that hasn't really paid off for us in terms of, you know, it didn't matter. I told Steve this. I told Pastor Joe. I had Pastor Joe had me trapped in a car. Oh, my God. From New Jersey to Manhattan. And I said, Pastor Joe, it doesn't matter what I do. 
I can, it, uh, the results are the same. You know, I could, I could whip it out here and nothing would, nothing would, would change. Like I could spend hours and hours on a show and nothing would change. You know, it's kind of like, we're just there. So uh, that's kind of where I am in it. So what does it matter if I change? I go, well, I pull 180, would you run, would you run away? And this has been uh, uh, 10 minutes of talking about nothing related to ham radio, by the way. And the podcast listeners will probably ride with it. They'll be on the bus and they'll be like, ah, oh, Christian's got a problem. Christian's conflicted. And people will write me and they'll care. I put this on YouTube. It is, it's a different, it's like a whole different, different thing. Christian's whining. Just go away, boy. <laughs> Just go away. Give up, man. So anyway, that's a lot of words to say. Uh, YouTube to me right now, I'm kind of on the fence with it. I want to keep it because I dig the live streaming aspect of it. The interaction is awesome. You could probably get that on Twitch. You might even be able to stream on your own website for all I know. I don't I don't know all the details. But sorry to bore you with that. It's What, what would this audience... Where do you draw the line? Do you come to 100 Watts and Wire as a community that has interests like emergency preparedness? Like we've done that. We've helped a guy, we tried to help a guy get a freaking kidney. Try to do that. We talk about inclusiveness and diversity and, you know, and all of it's just sort of the same. So I'm like, well, when, then why can't I pivot? Why can't I just start talking about whatever? You know, if it's all the same, then I should be able to do whatever I want. Anyway, I should shut up. I should shut up now. Uh, what do you guys think here? Oh, uh, here's uh, Todd. What's Todd saying? Go and jump in the river. No, he said, the problem is, so you create another channel for a different topic. Where does it stop? Yeah, so now you niche down and everything in ham radio, and another channel is single sideband. Another is digital. It's like this. I was just telling my wife this because it's a certain thing that I deal with every day is the thinking of like, you know, I do work to pay so my girls can go to school. That's it. Like, I don't need a uh, vanity metric. You know, I don't need another like. The algorithm would like you to give me a like. So I'm going to say, I got to pander and say, hey, man, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Because I, I would just hope that one day the algorithm will just push us up there and some other people will see us. You know, it's not a vanity metric for me. I've worked in Philadelphia. I've worked in Baltimore. Those numbers are scary. You know, that's a whole, that's a whole different. This is, you know, I, I put my time and energy into putting my kids through school. So if I'm just spinning wheels in one aspect of my creative world, then I probably need to get out of that creative world. And so I spend time and I talked to my wife just this morning. Like, you guys know about Leonardo da Vinci, right? Da Vinci was this Renaissance man. He believed in like the human. So he studied in his time history and science and, I, it, you know, and all mathematics and art, of course. Now, if he was alive today, YouTube would say, all right, Leo, put your, um, your art on one channel. And then make another channel for, you know, the whole physics thing that you're into. You know, Leonardo, you know, Da Vinci. Um, and my wife is like, just do what you want to do. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what that I is. I don't know what I should do anymore. It's YouTube. They got me twisted up, man. Again, the podcast listeners never write me and go, dude, well, they did it. There were some times where... The weeds get pulled out because they're like, I tuned into your show for two minutes and you were talking about blah, 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 you know, insert hernia. Like, who cares about it? Get on with the, get on with the knobs and the diodes, you know. All right, I'm going to stop talking. So if anybody wants to tell me what to do, uh, apart from my well, soon to be eight year old, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my eight year old will tell me uh, what to do right away. She'll be like, we got to go get potatoes. Shut up. Stop whining. <laughs> We got to plant the dirt rockets. We got to plant the dirt. I uh, had some uh, questions. Let's see if I even even have those ready for you guys. We have a couple of minutes if I can figure out where they are in the system. But you're welcome to uh, comment <clears throat> on it. You know, I talk too long when I lose the voice. I like, stop talking. Here's a question. Maybe we can answer it. Uh, if I have uh, 50 feet of coax, but it's only 
30 feet to the respective collections, uh, connections, is it best to just let it lie out or would it hurt to leave part of it rolled up? Spike wants to know. Spike's in Montana. Thanks for listening and thanks for the question. What do you think about having a little extra coax, Steve? Roll it up. Actually, if you roll it up just right and uh, you can uh, roll it up as a choke and uh, get a little extra benefit of the, uh, you know, <clears throat> taking care of all that excess coax and then uh, just roll it up and you'll have some choking effect with the uh, with the coil there. So you'll get two benefits for one. Okay, cool. What so a, there you what are. A what a deal. What Let's a see. Deal. What a bargain. Uh, is it against FCC laws to modify an HF radio by adding 11 meters? Lewis wants to know. He's N3. L-O-U. Can you modify an HF radio and add 11 meters? Is that against FCC laws? It is against FCC regulations because um, uh, CB radios for, for 11 meters are type accepted. And uh, to meet type acceptance, they have to uh, uh, only be four watts output and uh, channelized. And our amateur, you know, our typical HF radio is a VFO based and more than four watts out. So, and, uh, but yeah, if you go down into the weeds, yes, the radio will not be type accepted and we can't use it there legally. Your mileage may vary. Okay. Does your mic gain need to be adjusted for each band, Carl? It shouldn't. If uh, most modern radios uh, um, should keep it uh, pretty close. Um, I, I don't. I've never adjust my mic gain when I switch bands, but uh, maybe some older radios might, as components age and things change. Um, you might have to do that and, and there might be, yeah, it, stuff happens. So, but for the most part, no, you don't have to change your mic gain. Okay. Um, if you have a question, I know we're a little bit over time. I got on a rant there and I'm sorry. I'm, uh, uh I'm confiding in friends. And I think that's what the podcast allows me to do this, uh, stream here. People will dip in and out of it and then it'll kind of go away anyway, uh, Scotty, I was uh, wondering if you would you could talk about the uh, the contests that are going on here. But in the meantime, I'll ask the folks maybe if you have a question, put a cue in front of it. Uh, Steve and I can uh, hang an extra ten minutes or something. And if you have a question that you want answered on any any kind of thing, whether it's music, whatever, life, or specific to radio, put a cue in front of it. We'll pick that up. And um, I wanted Robin to. Uh, yeah, drop, drop it in the chat here. And if you're listening to this at home or on the road as a podcast, you can send it to me directly at Christian at 100 watts and a wire dot com. What contests, special events, and ham fest do we have, uh, Scotty? Oh, we got some uh, some things going on. We've got a big one going on the CQ uh, Worldwide Worked All Prefix uh, contest it's happening on single side bands um, at uh, Zero Hour Zulu um, today through. Uh, um, 2359 Zulu Sunday. So um, that's to be a pretty busy, popular one. Worked all prefixes. Um, we got the, uh, we got a special event station, uh, Prince Edward Island, um, is going to be, uh, active and participating in the, uh, the worked all prefix contest this weekend to call sign on that is going to be, um, Oh, I just had it. I lost it. Um, Where'd it go? Oh, X <laughs> X Ray he's, he's new Oscar to Oscar. I got my I got my my sheet up here. X Ray Oscar to Oscar. Gummy. Is it's the gummies? Gummy. It's the gummies are kicking in. It will help. You. Um they'll be working. Um and then we have the uh uh the FOC uh, QSO party going on on CW. Um and that's happening uh zero hundred Zulu to twenty three fifty nine Zulu on the twenty sixth. All right. So those are the kind of the larger events happening this this weekend. All right, yeah, it's busy. I turned on the radio last night and was like, "Holy smokes! Look at the band!" It was just yeah. forty was just everywhere. There was signals. It was freaking awesome. Thanks I to got a, I got band <clears throat> practice tonight. I'm gonna try to jump on and work some stations uh, nice. after band practice and yeah, rack up the log a little. 
Uncle Paul says, just be yourself. It's refreshing to be involved uh, with something that is responsive and spon- uh, for spontaneity. Let's see. Todd says, schedule each day for a specific topic, or does that please, or does that doesn't please uh, the algorithm? Um, the algorithm is, uh, it's just going to have to find me. That's the thing. I think I need to get away from thinking about it. Um, let's see. There was, uh, Ben says, just let it fly 100 watts in a wire. So thank you for that. Greg says, if it means anything to you, Christian, your channel brought me to the YouTube side of things. I enjoy the streams and they always give me a laugh. So thank you, Greg. That means a lot to me. And, uh, I know the crew here as well. We did, we don't really script out the words. And uh, today I had other things that we were going to talk about, but I just got off on a tangent. James says, I think it's good for YouTube that you are a potpourri of topics because it may cause us to search for channels on the other subjects. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. Mark says, aren't we friends? Friends talk about a variety of things. It's true. Exactly. It's true, and we all have different interests. That's where I'm stuck is because I want to get uh, that. Ben says we have 600 plus on Discord. That's true. That's true, and that's a relatively and new we thing. We go all over the place there on the Discord. I mean, the, yeah, we have various channels within Discord, but it's there's a variety of topics, and uh, yeah, the, the Discord is great. Kind of, Oh, yeah, you just go off. There's a channel that's strictly ham radio <laughs> related, so we can talk about, you know, our hobby here. There's, you know, everything else channel, which it just kind of let it hang out and just fly your freak flag there and just have, have a good time. Jeff says, turn your flag around because you are hung backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. I think his uh, his camera may be. The revert. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't know. And, but anyway, uh, okay. another Maryland are breaking uh, balls. Jeff, yeah. Depends on which Jeff side of the flag goes, you're looking at. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, in the uh, comments, uh, Jeff uh, in Japan, it's midnight for him. So he's 7 3, brother. Thank yeah, he's you like, for, wrap uh, it up. Being with us today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm going to ponder some of the things that we've I've laid out there today. I still have to figure out what I want to do because I love the live streaming aspect, but I don't want to get caught up tripping on YouTube anymore. It's just too much. And I know that the audio of what we do and what we send to the podcast is being received. It's my struggle is, are you okay with me going off into the woods a little bit to talk about potatoes or whatever, or music? Because it's part of my world that I, I need to have that creative outlet. And I know these guys who are here with me, they're cool with that. It's kind of, we would just ride well, or die, whatever. It's part of our world. It's, it's part of all of our worlds, you know, music, other interests. I mean, this is just, ham radio is just one facet of our lives. You know, we all have our lives and, and our interests and everything, but we have this one common interest that brings us all together. And, um, and why do we need to stay in that lane of just amateur radio? It's there's many out there already doing that stuff and, uh, and that's great and good on them. Um, personally, it's like, I don't give a crap about the algorithm and, um, and if they don't want to, you know, put us down into this lane because, you know, Oh, you're ham radio and, but you're talking about this and you're, you're going to mess up the algorithm, Christian. <laughs> it's like, uh, who's, oh, who's no. the ones losing, getting their panties all wadded up. Is it us? Right. No. Well, maybe. Um, but it's, you know, YouTube. And uh, so they're, you know, their algorithm is for them. Let's not worry about them. Let's do what we want to do and 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 what, the, you know, our friends want to hear and see. So should. Yeah, part about, uh, part yeah. about, the, about the podcast, the, 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 the kind of the life intersection of Life and Ham Radio, the, the, the non- amateur radio topics is part of what I enjoyed about the podcast when I first discovered it and what kept me sticking with it. Uh, eventually being a, a sustaining member for, for a while, um, buying the t-shirt, um, the, even these things to kind of help support, um, the podcast because I enjoyed the, the non radio specific kind of little, little side turns that the show would take. And so, and that's what I enjoyed about it. So on the so YouTube, today. well, thank you, Scotty. But I, I think, should the YouTube channel be just 
me or is YouTube just stay 100 watts in a wire and just you're going to have to see that it's a bunch of stuff comes up there? That's what you think, Steve? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we live stream it. We don't save it. This this is live streamed and that's that's it. And then we'll, we'll take things out of it when we answer questions that are related to amateur radio. And we could put that up on the YouTube channel. It's, uh, you know, questions and comments or you know, maybe uh, playlist just put it in a playlist like it is now mm -hmm. brad exactly. asked a great question you know he keeps wanting to ask what's the goal the goal is to uh fulfill and nurture my soul as a creative person um i don't i'm not on broadcast radio anymore i was hired to be a personality um this is part of my life and that's what i it's part of what i do music it's tricky on youtube and and on podcasts and that sort of thing but uh, so, you know, the goal is to just be happy. It's not to be kind of over. I got a little little dog here. Well, come here. Come here. Well, come here. <laughs> All right, baby. Mama's getting ready to. Okay. I know. No, no Frenching on the on the show. People watching now. <laughs> but the goal. Oh, this is Willa. Licky, licky, licky. This is uh, you know, it's to be happy. It's to create content that I enjoy. And uh, I find entertaining and talk about topics that are that are entertaining. Um, but that that suppression of you're you're just this. You need to just be that. All right. Well, go ahead and chase then. Pew. Uh, Mama's getting ready to go uh, with my big girl. They're going into town. So anyway, that's what it was. I appreciate the topics. Uh, listening to that, uh, Steve-O says he votes for uh, keep the channel the same way. Just put up there whatever it is we want to do. Uh, what says I you, agree. Scott? I agree. Yeah, I agree. I think keep the channel. Um, do what you want to do. We, you know, talk about what we want to talk about. What you want to talk about. It's your channel, and maybe you know, we talk about a little radio. We talk about a little guitar. We talk about a little music. We talk a little, a little bit about you know, working on engines, whatever you know. Should whatever, it be whatever sh flows? Should that channel still be called One Hundred Watts in a Wire? I guess that's probably the the trick. Or is it my name? Any thoughts on that? And you guys are all here, here in the chat. So you should just uh, see it's an entity now. It's not a huge thing. So changing gears and directions and just putting my name on it might not be a problem. It may be uh, harder to uh, thank you for that, James. Yeah, I, I uh, am an entertainer. Me and Scott Joplin. We'll get that queued up. Um, yeah. You know, so I don't know if it's just I change it to be more generalized and 100 watts in a wire people come and find it because it's on my channel or if it stays the same title these are the these are the first world problems i'm struggling with and some folks may be rolling their eyes at this stuff but you know it all goes in there's a website involved with it it has its own podcast that kind of thing that's not going to change i'm going to continue to do 100 watts in a wire as a podcast because that itself is uh it's a thing and that's been going seven seasons deep and I wouldn't take that away. I would just want to sprinkle a little more in my gumbo. I go, Oh, you got fresh potatoes. Thank you, Scotty. Thanks for bringing those out of your garden. Da, 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 da. And that's going to go now onto the channel. See, um, anyway, that's where I am. Yeah, I don't know. it's, uh, it's, it's tough. If there were a million dollars on the line, it would it would be easy for me. I'm not, we're not touching it. Oh, yeah. We're not touching it. Everything is it. There's nothing, you know. There are people there who are expecting certain things, but uh, if we were going to do it, um, so yeah, we will have a live streams. I thought Jeff was <laughs> going to bed. Now lube. he's thinking about lube. I hope you have a dream that a chasing <laughs> a large lubricant is chasing you through the streets. <laughs> Of Osaka. A of KY. <laughs> I hope a Tokyo uh, monster comes out in the form of a lube oh, wearing a little cowboy hat. Like, nice, <laughs> oh, to nice to see you, Jeff. Nice to see you, Jeff. So I hope that for you, Jeff, as a fellow Marylander or expatriate, uh, I hope that you are attacked. With a lube, uh, Godzilla with a tube of lube which says 100 watts and a wire and he shoots it right on you. <laughs> <laughs> and throws you down a hallway. <laughs> You'll slide fine. You'll slide fine. Oh, dear. Whole new, whole new level of slip and slide. Yeah, Brad says 30 million to move to Spotify. 
Yep, do it in a minute. Oh, that's that's the kind of thing is that I want to be broader. I want to be um and and so Joe Rogan has Snoop Dogg and every celebrity in LA, which is cool for him. I'd rather talk to you guys. I'd rather talk to uh Lubezilla, uh mm-hmm. Jeff in uh Japan and talk to Brad and find out your stories, what you're dealing with and and that sort of stuff like everyday type of people. I don't want to be Joe Rogan. I just want to I want to spread out in the different areas and and uh, all the things that we've already said. So there you go. Uh, Uncle Paul reminds us to let you know about the Sunday evening HF Net, 7 o'clock Central Time. We kick off. We do um, several operators. So we're doing a multi-camera. You can look from coast to coast practically. We've, we're in Maryland. We're in New Jersey. We are in uh, the Pacific Northwest, Washington State, we're in Missouri, and Minnesota. So all we cover. We might even you know do a little bit more and uh, spread out. So you can watch that happen as we do ham radio. That is a straight ham radio, but we have fun. Scotty's running on FT8, so he's kind of hanging out with me. We're watching the chat. We're having a good time. I'm relaying back in the studio this week. Um, So it's a lot of fun. If you're near a radio or a computer, Sunday nights, come to the channel and pop on that live stream. It's a lot. That's a lot of fun. It, It really is. Paul says, keep it like it is. You guys are doing a great job. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, Ricardo says, censored. Uh, Brad says, I don't see a reason to change it. It's not clear to me what the problem is. You're doing what you love. Keep doing it the way you're doing it. Uh, the issue is I'm not doing enough of the topics that I love. I want to be able to talk about history or talk about science or to talk uh, to an artist or something like that. And that just doesn't fit in the, the mold of this particular channel. So I like, maybe I need to start something new. That's basically how, where I am, that this... You know, this personality stuff, be, being with my brothers here, are real cool. Um, but there may be something even they're not interested in. You know, I could I could have a topic that's about whatever. Um, and that's the thing, is to be go into diverse areas. If you're using Joe Rogan, and I don't compare myself to him at all, at all and I don't want to do what he's doing, I would rather just be able to talk to all kinds of people like he does, but not necessarily celebrity types or you know, the holiday, Hollywood type of whatever. Anyway, getting long in the tooth here. Jerry says, whatever is discussed here, the perspective is of amateur radio. Right, I am a, an amateur radio operator, you know, and these are my interests. Um, it's, it's what will the audience do. And on the podcast side, they're showing me that it's okay, that I'll listen to an hour and 20 minutes, Christian, because I'm on a train. You know, it's the... It's the other platform that I'm like, I don't know what we should do. So there we are. You guys are very kind to let me um, to talk about it. James says, absolutely keep the channel at it as it is. 100 watts and a wire. Okay. 100 watts and a wire and more, says Jeff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, next week we'll talk about uh, engines, uh, the importance of lubricants in engines mm-hmm. of all kinds. Yep. We'll find out how Jeff did as uh, Lubezilla took over his world, picked him up, <laughs> threw him down a, a small hallway, and how far did he slide? All these things are important. <laughs> Thanks for taking part of the poll. Uh, oh, I should probably give some results of that Facebook. Uh, I guess I did. I guess I did talk about that. Over 530 already are extras. That's interesting to know in that um, social media platform. Yeah, we got the YouTube so, poll here, too. Yeah, what's what's going on with that one? It's, there's 33 votes in it. Let's have a look see. Okay. <clears throat> um, have a, if he's inspired you to upgrade your license, 20, 27% no, 18% yes, 6% not sure. And why is YouTube not letting me see the rest of the poll? It's not scrolling down. We're bagging on their uh, algorithms. I can't see. Can't see <laughs> can't the poll. See the rest of the uh, poll. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. <laughs> just a tip, or just what? <laughs> just a tip. What can he see? Um, <clears throat> an overwhelming forty-eight percent already an extra. A lot of extras Sweet. watching. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice. that's good. I can say that it's uh, inspired me to continue driving for my extra. It's, I'm not rushing to get it in under the under the gun, but uh, I've already been studying for my extra, and this is just like, oh yeah, I need to keep studying for my extra more for me. Duh. Well, Scotty, if you need the $35, 
you know where you can come. You can say, I'm gonna need a little help and uh, your boys and your family here in, their, in our community will make sure you get what you need if you need to. Uh, so I, that's what, I have to sell off a couple of gummies to make it happen. Hey, hey you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? That's, you right. Do what you that's do. right. Thank you for uh, listening to this today. I know we got a little bit of uh, ham radio in there. And, uh, man, oh, I, just one more thing. When I came home from um, Santa Fe, uh, had the mobile HF, and it was like 60-mile-an-hour wind. I was kind of watching passively the Discord because I wanted, like, a calling frequency. I could at least listen to people I knew in Discord or whatever talking. And so people were like, I'm on this one, and I would I would put it on because driving, lots of windshield time. <clears throat> Coming back, man, the wind was broadside my truck i mean you could see the tractor trailers were having a hard time negotiating the wind man it was crazy uh, so the next night my arms were in this position like you're a race car driver because the wind it felt like you were just getting broadside going through new mexico and oklahoma and even a little bit into you know uh, texas or i got that backwards so oklahoma it's santa fe texas Oklahoma, right? I did that right? I think so. So that's why I wasn't really on, but I was listening and I got out at the hotel and my antenna was crooked from taking the wind. Ooh. Yeah. And luckily I keep the Allen key re, uh, in there and I was able to straighten it up and tighten it up a bit. But yeah, I mean, the wind was something else. And, you know, my girls are getting, especially uh, Mama Bear, uh, because these tractor trailers, man, they're like swaying. And I, f I really felt for those guys. She's like, look at this guy. And I'm like, it's the wind. I mean, all that open flat space is getting pounded with the wind and just the smallest, you know, there, it was, it was dicey there for a while. I, I have a new respect for those uh, over the land drivers who have to deal with stuff like that and snowed. We were going through the snow in parts. It was crazy. Anyway. White knuckling the whole ride. Man, I was stiff the next morning because I was just holding it in. I was just trying to, two hands on the wheel, just keep it keep it together and in between the lanes. But, man, they, the truckers had a much harder problem with that. Go ahead, Steve. Yeah, I know you got something. Especially drivers have a lot on their hands on when they're dealing with that kind of wind. Yeah. You're right, Brad. Santa Fe's great if you're an art lover. Great original pieces of art and all that sort of stuff. Thank you. I've kept you all too long. We got to get our potatoes and we got to start putting them in the ground if you can. It's, all, it's just about that time. But thank you guys gotta, for listening. Got to make the gumbo later. Got to make the gumbo. Yeah. Got to make the gumbo. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Scotty. We appreciate you. We'll see you on Sunday night, 7 o'clock. Scotty will be here doing FT8 this week. That's yep. an interesting yep, mode be because he can kind of hang out and chat with me and we can watch the other guys work. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing your colors. You're wearing your uh, 100 watts and a wire uh, sweatshirt. That's another way you can support the content you enjoy. If you like, you want to wear your colors, go into the uh, merch spot, the shop at 100wattsandawire.com. We appreciate that. All the money gets back into the development and creation of content so we can put that back out to you. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. Have a safe uh, week. We'll see you hopefully tomorrow and hear you on the air. 73 for now. 73, everyone. 73, everybody. See uh, see y'all uh, tomorrow night. That's right. Tomorrow night. If you're listening after tomorrow night, we've tried to see you, but you weren't around. But enjoy the rest of yeah. the uh, part of the thing. But join us on Sunday night. <laughs> Whatever day you're listening to us, just take some time out on a Sunday night and join us on on the HF bands. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Todd says, Sunday, Gummies Sunday, and Gumbo Sunday. coming to you. That's a spinoff show, baby. Gummies <laughs> and Gumbo. Look, look for my FT8 CQ, Gummies and Gumbo. There you go. Uh, take, take care of yourselves. Uh, may the dogs run by your side. And by all means, please try and stay above the noise. 7 3 all. To join the 100 Watts in a Wire community, visit 100wattsinawire.com.